Good morning, everyone. Today we are welcoming André Merlin, one of the leading persons in the electricity sector in Europe. And we have many important things to discuss. André Merlin, you are a leader and a founding feather of the European electricity market, notably for your action at ETSO, the European Association of TSOs. Today, you work with MedGrid. What is MedGrid? An association of Mediterranean TSOs? Yes, uh, ETSO was an association of the European uh, transmission system operator. It was requested by the European Commission and by Loyola de Palacio. And uh, I was the president of this association for four years, from uh, 2001 to 2005, and I participate to the electricity market design at the Florence Forum. Uh, MedGrid is another initiative different from uh, ENSO. Uh, it's in fact a consortium of uh, uh, European uh, uh, industrial groups to promote and impulse the exchange of electricity between uh, Europe and the south of the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, and uh, we have uh, a private organization and the idea is to help other organizations in the way to find the good decisions. But do we have serious opportunities to exchange energy between the two banks of the Mediterranean Sea? I think so. I think so. There are a lot of interest uh, from uh, mainly the economic point of view to exchange electricity from uh, Europe to, to the south and from the south to Europe. For instance, uh, the, there is a difference in the uh, electric system in uh, Europe and the south. The peak demand is in uh, winter in, in, uh, in Europe and the peak demand is in summer in, in the south. So there are good opportunity to exchange electricity from uh, both sides of the, of the Mediterranean Sea. And the other uh, idea is to also import renewable electricity that could be produced in the south uh, if the European Union uh, member states are interested to buy the such, such electricity. And as you know, there are very ambitious goals on renewables, and I think there are possibility to buy electricity or f produced from renewables in the south and to export it to, to Europe. What can a grid provide? Grids do not produce energy. Why the existing grid is insufficient? And how could you expand it? There is a first interconnection between Spain and Morocco, which is very uh, fully used to export electricity from uh, uh, Spain to, to Morocco. And the idea is to extend this uh, capacity between the uh, Spanish Peninsula and Morocco and, and Algeria, but also to build a new interconnection between, for instance, Italy and Algeria, Tunisia, and certainly Libya through Sicilia and Sardinia. So, so there are also opportunities. And the third corridor that are very interesting uh, for this exchange of electricity is between uh, Turkey and the countries in the south of, of uh, Turkey, I, I mean Syria, Jordan and Egypt. Of course, the political situation in this part of the uh, Mediterranean makes this uh, project a bit more difficult. Where are the main barriers for the expansion of the grid? Does it come from the technology, from the financing, from regulatory barriers or political difficulties? I, I think there are two, two reasons. One is not uh, technological barriers, because we, we know the technology and we apply in other parts of the world, and we, we are able to, to build uh, submarine cables uh, between north and south of the Mediterranean Sea. The main difficulty is funding. We have to secure this investment, and there is a need, certainly, to have a political decision concerning, uh, for instance, a bank of development of infrastructure in the Mediterranean area. And second uh, obstacles, and we have to change the regulation, mainly in the south, in order to be able to exchange electricity between the south and the, and, and the north. So we'll, we need new law of electricity in these countries. 
Medgrid did issue a very important report on these issues. Could you give us our main recommendations? The main conclusion is to say that we are n there is no need to transpose fully the European Directive in the South. It was the idea in, in 1995 in the Barcelona process, but I, of course it was too ambitious. But we have minimum change in the regulation in this, in this uh, country in the South in order to allow uh, a fully exchange of electricity from north to south and from south to, 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 to north. And this need new laws, and I think a country like Morocco is implementing this new law because they, they have well understood the interest of such changes. Thank you for the interview. We have touched upon very important issues for foreign relations of Europe, but also for the development of the military and basin. And I really do appreciate your contribution to our monthly interviews. Thank you for inviting me here in your uh, institute. Dear people, at the end of the interview, you have seen that Europe has still frontiers to build, exchange bridges to build, and uh, relations to expand. That's a challenge. We have to tackle it with your help.